Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, long time no see. I just got out of the shower because girl, my hair was dirty. Um, my natural hair is actually getting, <laughs> my natural hair is actually getting pretty long, um, but I am going to give myself a little at home blowout because I just love a fresh blowout. This curly hair, it's just too much. It's very high maintenance and I'm just not about it. But I'm gonna do that after I eat my lunch. I'm eating like a little steak bowl. But yeah, so I got my lunch. I got my wata. I wanted to give you guys a little nursery update, a pregnancy update. I am officially 21 weeks pregnant and one day. So yeah, I wanted to give you guys a little update because I feel like I haven't filmed in a while and I also just wanted to vlog today. There was just something in me that was like, you should vlog today. And so I did. <laughs> I'm gonna eat my lunch. I'm gonna show you guys my nail art collection. No one asked to see my nail art collection, but I wanna show it because I have been doing my own nails at home. I've been using um, jelly tips. So yeah, I have this cute little nail design that I've been wanting to do like little swirls. And I went to Dollar Tree yesterday with my mom. I'm gonna start eating. If you guys don't like, watching people eat then you might want to exit out but i'm having a little mukbang moment but yeah so i went to dollar tree yesterday with my mom and i got a lot of goodies to organize all my nail supplies and it looks so organized so cute so i want to show you guys that because i've been obsessed with watching nail art collections and people doing their nails at home Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Okay, so we are under my bathroom sink. Ignore this area. <laughs> um, I just want to show you my nail art collection. If you're not interested, fast forward. But I'm obsessed with watching these videos, so I want to show you guys. The lighting's weird because I'm literally sitting on the floor. <laughs> on, I'm actually sitting on my squatty potty, um, so I don't have to sit like actually on the floor. But anyways, random. But first, I want to show you guys these mats. I got these from Dollar Tree. Um, I just put this on my vanity so I don't get any polish or powder. And if I get something on here, it's really easy to wipe off because it's just like a... I don't know, technically it's like a cutting mat, cutting board, um, and it came in a two-pack from Dollar Tree. So that's what I use to protect my surface, and then I'm going to show you guys what is in here. What I have in here is my gel lamp. This is my little palette that I use when I do nail designs. I just put everything on here. Um, I have my poly gels, my different types of poly gels right here. I don't really use the poly gels with the dual forms um, because I don't like how curved the dual forms are because um, it just makes your nail like way too curved. I like more of like a, I don't know, like a nice strong apex and more straight and then I like the c-curve on the tip but this one is just like your nail kind of like is shaped like this so i don't use the dual forms i just use the poly gel as basically my glue to stick these nails on so instead of using glue i use my poly gel um what else do i have in here i have some nail art stickers decals so i have these those are actually really cute. I have yet to use those. Um, I have my poly gel brush and spatula. I have a little spray bottle. I think this is filled with acetone, this little pump. Or maybe it's alcohol that's in here. I'm not sure. And then I have two bottles of acetone. I have my little nail art things that I used to practice with when I worked at the nail salon. And then I have base and top right here and then a slip, an extra slip solution. So that is what's in here. Um, and as you can see right next to it, these are all of my gel polish colors. So I have like brighter colors, neutrals, glitters. Yeah. I definitely want to buy some more colors. Why? Don't know. But these are the colors I have so far. I only do my own nails. I don't work at the nail salon anymore. I'm just doing my nails at home. So this is like plenty of colors just for me. 
All of these are from Amazon and they're from the Beatles. Let's see if my camera will focus. Yeah, so they're from the Beatles um, line. And so these are all Beatles, even these in the in this type of packaging. So and then I have this builder base. My camera does not want to focus. I have this builder base. Um, it's basically like builder gel in a bottle. This is what I use to fill in my nails, and I love this. I use this to encapsulate. Um, yeah, so that is from the brand. Amelie and I got these from Amazon and then this is just a, another top coat and no wipe top That's my favorite. I hate the top coats you have to wipe but yeah all my gels are from Amazon So then I have the Beatles top and base coat in here because these bottles are too big to fit in these lipstick containers These are from the Dollar Tree So the Beatles nail polish are like the perfect size um for these little containers. So these are from the Dollar Tree. And then here are the tips that I use. These are also from Amazon. They are full cover tips. I'll go ahead and open it. So these are what the tips look like. As you can tell, they're full cover tips. These tips are very similar to the Kira Sky Jelly Tips. Um, in my opinion, they're very sturdy. They always last me like two three weeks um and then this is what the actual tip looks like so it has a nice apex and a really nice c curve tip if you can see that and they're actually like pretty thick tips like i'm pretty sure these are also made of hard gel but i just got these off amazon and I will be doing a video soon on how I do my nails at home just because I want to do that video because I think they're just so relaxing and fun to watch. So, I don't know. No one asked, but I want to film that. So, then another thing I got from Amazon are these nail glitters, butterflies, and then I have some... Oops. I have some flowers. So these are all glitters to encapsulate. You don't have to encapsulate them, but that's what I use them for. We just have different color butterflies, the holographic butterflies, the flowers, and then these are more like iridescent um, glitters, I guess. I don't know what, we, what you would really call these, but... And then it comes with rhinestones, too. So I have these from Amazon. Um, this is good for, like... A collection if you want to you know work on clients or yourself so another item I got from Dollar Tree girl I love Dollar Tree <laughs> um, is this so I found this in a really random area in Dollar Tree I believe this was supposed to be like in the crafting area um, but I actually found this in like the kitchen area oddly enough but this is my nail art nail sticker um box and then at the bottom i have nail glue for emergencies because <laughs> as i said i don't glue these tips on you can glue them on but they're not gonna last as long um but if one like happens to fall off like if i've gone like three weeks with these tips and i don't have time to like redo a nail over i just use my nail glue to glue it on and it'll last me like a day and then i'll just redo my nails the next day um i have nail clippers i really use those nail clippers for my toes i'll show you the um clippers that I use for my um, nails and then I have my drill bits over here and then other drill bits so that is this and here is a, another container I got from the Dollar Tree this basically has my medium grit um, files for my drill this is what I use to basically take the natural shine very softly off my natural nails. And I use this to, um, when I do my fill, just to like smooth over the nail, get rid of the shine, and, you know, prep it for gel polish. And then I have these alcohol removers for my nails when I take 
dust off and stuff like that so I just keep this in this little container you can put so much stuff in this container um, for makeup hair products skincare I absolutely love this acrylic container from the Dollar Tree I have my cleanup brushes and then these are all my nail art brushes so these really pretty nail art brushes are from the brand Beatles. I got all of these nail art brushes, guess where? From Amazon. <laughs> um, but yeah, so those are all my nail art brushes. And then in this area, this is where I keep my drill, my drill charger, because this is a cordless drill. I love this drill. I used it on clients. It's lasted me a really long time and it wasn't that expensive. So I really love this drill. Um, I have my nail buffer to smooth out the um, file lines or drill line just to make sure my nails smooth before I apply polish. This little stand right here is actually where you hold your drill so it's easy to put down and pick up. And then what else do I have in here? I have a little nail brush to brush off the dust. I have, these are the nail color cutters I use for my tips so it's just much easier and cleaner when you use this little fun nail cutter so i use this at work too so this works a lot with nail extensions and tips obviously you wouldn't use this on your natural nail <laughs> unless you have really beautiful strong long natural nails which i do not so anyways i have some of these then I have my files. Almost all of these files are 100, 180 grit. And then I think I have one that's like 80, 100. I don't know. But I have my files. I have my um, nail brush just to get rid of dust. And then over here I have my Gelish Pro Bond Nail Primer. I use this before I give myself a fill just to put on my natural nail before I apply the builder gel. And then I have cuticle coil. So that is what is inside of this little case. I got this case also from Amazon. It's really okay. Cute. I am all done with my hair. Don't mind my bed. I haven't made it. <laughs> I just did not have the energy this morning to make the bed. But anyways, I am officially done with my hair, girl. I needed that. I am so happy with how it turned out. So I have to go to Walmart to pick up some groceries. I started watching Monarca and um, this show is actually really crazy. I think my aunt told me about this show, I believe. I think. Someone told me about the show. I'm pretty sure it was my aunt. But it is crazy. I'm only on episode two and it's already pretty wild. But yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and put some, I don't know, like PJs on probably. <laughs> like shorts and a t-shirt and head over to Walmart. So I will see you guys in a little bit. eat some watermelon with dahine. <laughs> I can literally eat this entire thing of watermelon in one sitting and that's probably what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna be making carne asada tacos tonight. I'm gonna try. I've never made carne asada tacos. I just know that I love carne asada tacos. So I'm about to marinate the meat that I got for the tacos and leave that in the fridge for a little bit. Um, and then I will show you guys what's going on with the nursery and give you a little pregnancy update. So, yeah, this vlog is really random, but hey, it's a day in my life. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, so now we are headed in the nursery. It is so bright in here. So I'm actually gonna turn around. 
Um, so this is the room that is directly across from our room. And then right behind this wall, there is a full bathroom. So that'll be Enzo's bathroom slash. So that'll be the baby's bathroom slash guest bathroom for when we have um, guests stay. So for the most part, I'm out of breath because I just walked up the stairs. Um, for the most part, this entire room is empty. We have the crib right here. And then this is his teddy bear that I um, that Kyle got when we went to see him at the ultrasound boutique. So let's hear it. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's my favorite sound. So yeah, this is his teddy bear. This is what the Teddy is called my baby's heartbeat bear. So this will be his Teddy when he's here. Which I think is so cute. And the crib, actually my dad and Kyle are going to build it together. It's like a natural wooden color crib. I didn't want to do white. And then we're going to do board and batten walls right here on this wall. And I'm going to paint half of it like a navy blue color. The one part I have for the most part kind of ready <laughs> is his closet look at all his cute little clothes um so right now his closet is not the most organized but well it's organized but this stuff that's up here like the onesies and um the booty pajamas those are going to go in his dresser but we don't have his dresser yet so I just folded everything there. This has all been washed with draft. So this is all clean, washed, ready to go, ready for him to wear. Um, yeah, so I wanted to do all of that like little by little. These are all the clothes that Kyle and I have bought for him. Um, and then over here, I have these little socks that I got from Carter's. They're really, really soft. And then I have two pairs of booties. I got these from Amazon just to keep his little toesies warm because he will be an October baby. And then here is some books. I have a feeling, I think I'm going to paint these and then um, put them on the bookshelf wall and just put some little knickknacks inside of these like for decoration, but I'm still not sure. And these tags I got off of Amazon and the hangers, these little velvet hangers I also got from Amazon. So something that I really like is are these little clips that clip the pants or any matching um, sets that you get the baby so his outfit can kind of stay together. So those clips clip on to the hanger and it holds on to the pants that go with the shirt. So I obviously have this all organized from zero to three. And then three to six. This outfit's so cute. It's like a terry cloth material. Um, so these are all three to six. And by the time he's three to six months, it'll be winter. So I got him some warm clothes, long sleeve, little jackets. And then we got pants. How cute are these jeans? They're like little jogger jeans. So cute. And then this is six to nine months. We'll be into spring and summer by the time he's six to nine months. So we just have some brighter outfits and short sleeve, you know, just some lighter clothing, not as thick, but oh, little button up, so cute. <laughs> I love shopping for him. Look at these little booty shorts. And then I have one nine to 12 because that'll be a long time from now, but I have one 9 to 12 outfit. And then, you know, I can always kind of condense it so we make more room, like kind of like that. But for right now, I have it more spread out. Um, so when, after the baby shower, I'll have plenty of room to hang up the rest of his clothes, and then this will all be in the dresser, so. Babe's doing his cardio. Speaking of babe. He did all this in the front porch. These are the bushes that I forgot to water today. Again. <laughs> but yeah, he put red mulch down. He planted this bush. And then he put these little stones 
around it and he also added it to the tree in our front yard and in the backyard okay so before i start dinner and before i end this vlog i wanted to give you guys a pregnancy update really quick um i am sharing these pregnancy updates more so for my memories because it's something that i'll be able to look back on it's almost like a video diary of my pregnancy if that makes sense so Kyle's doing his cardio, as you guys saw. Um, I am gonna go start on the carne asada tacos and make his breakfast for tomorrow. But yeah, so I am officially 21 weeks pregnant and one day. I was 21 weeks pregnant yesterday and I am more than halfway there. It is so <laughs> crazy to me that we're gonna have a baby here and like, 19 weeks so one app says that he's the size of a baby bok choy and then 18 weeks and six days he will be here well i think depends baby will come whenever he wants and then my other app um says that he is the size of a large banana so yeah, I cannot believe my baby's that big. I'm starting to feel him move so much. I have an anterior placenta. So my doctor did tell me that I wouldn't be able to feel the kicks as early or something like that. And, um, yeah, but I'm starting to feel him move a lot. I'm starting to feel him kick and punch. It just feels like he's dancing in there, which I love. I love feeling him. Um, I can't wait for Kyle to feel him because it's so funny because he'll be moving a lot. And then Kyle will put his hand on my stomach and he just stops moving. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Kyle has not felt him move yet, which is unfortunate, but that time will come. Um, but yeah, I, we already have the baby shower scheduled, ready to go. My aunt, um, and my mom's side of the family, they're actually planning and helping out with the baby shower so i don't even have to stress out about that all i did was order the invitation so that's so nice i am so incredibly grateful for my mom's side of the family for doing that the baby shower is going to be in myrtle beach so it's not going to be here in charlotte um so i'm just excited to get away go to the beach i'm sorry the lighting keeps changing it is it's 4 30 so the lighting is just going in and out and it's really cloudy today but I started um, uh, throwing up again at 20 weeks. I felt fine for the longest time, but now I'm just having really, really bad acid reflux. I started throwing up again. Um, I only threw up for like, I think it was like three days last week or the week before, and then I just didn't throw up again. But after that, you guys, I do not want to eat anything. I just want to eat super plain stuff like plain cheese quesadilla, um, plain banana pudding, plain yogurt, a plain bagel. Like I just want to eat everything plain, which is so unlike me. I love spicy. I love sweet. I love sour. I love savory. I am such a foodie. So it is just so unlike me to have this type of appetite where I want everything plain. Like I literally butter noodles the other day that's so unlike me usually i'll make like a nice thick flavorful sauce for my pasta and i just ugh, i have not been feeling food lately i'm of course getting my calories in and getting my water in and you know i eat my breakfast lunch and dinner snacks in between but i just have no appetite ugh. I just feel very the right now <laughs> and uh, my energy goes in and out i feel like some days i have more energy and other days i'm just like a zombie all day uh, i guess you know it's just pregnancy i'm not complaining and uh yeah but for the most part that's pretty much it that's all that's happening right now i have another doctor's appointment in a few weeks when i'm 24 weeks and then I'm gonna schedule a 4D ultrasound to see his cute little face for the first time. Um, I think at 26 weeks. So I'm gonna try to get that scheduled. But yeah, 
I just cannot believe that we're going to have a baby here soon. Um, the nursery, as you guys saw, is completely empty. And, um, yeah. So, the stroller car seat's still in the box. Um, but I am having my baby shower a little early. I'm having my baby shower at 30 weeks. So, that'll give me time just to, like, organize everything, clean everything, sanitize everything, get the house ready, get my freezer meals ready. So yeah, that is my pregnancy update. So far so good. Uh, baby boy is healthy, mama bear is healthy, and um, yeah, so. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. I'm gonna start on dinner and start on Kyle's breakfast for tomorrow. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, see you next time.